YouTube, you wonderful people. How are we all today? It's a bit of a grey day today as you can see. Clouds are all building up, ready to rain on us. Well I thought it's quite warm. I'm going to take the bike. Let's go on the bike. On that familiar run to Sittingbourne. On the noisy bike. Noisy little Honda, as it is known as now. <coughs> I wish there was another route I could take to show you a different road, but um, this is the way, I'm afraid. You'll all know this road like the back of your hands when you're done. All roads are different every day, aren't they? Different cars on them. Different idiots to watch out for. So yeah, might be a familiar road, but don't get too familiar with it. See, it's got a habit of biting you in the arse if you get too familiar, too complacent. Oh, I ride this road every day. Nothing ever comes along it. You know, fucking great lorry comes round the corner. Ah, shit. I wasn't expecting that. So there's a cue for a subject. Does complacency cause accidents? By fuck, yes it does. the same bit of road or even drive the same bit of road every single day. And the worst roads I think are the little B roads, you know, where people whiz through little rat runs and things like that. And these people ride them or drive them every day. They think, oh I can overtake there, I've got plenty of room, da there you go, you know, nothing ever comes up past on this particular part of the road. And they get fucking caught out, don't they? And then a big smash. Why are you talking about this? Because um, yesterday, which was a lovely sunny Sunday, we went to a trip to Hastings. Not on the bike, in the boring old car. Yeah, but anyway, on the way back, um, quite a funny ride on the way back. I mean, I, I love driving fast round bends, whether I'm in a car or on a bike. And, um, there's a lovely bit of road from Hastings to Mainstone. And it's got some lovely bitty, bendy bits in it. And somehow I got stuck behind a motorcycle but he wasn't going to go over 50 anywhere no matter what, you know, the road was clear ahead he wasn't going to go over 50 I think he was an older rider and his bike sounded shit so I think there might have been something wrong with his bike but he wasn't leaving room for anyone to get fucking past him either so um, we had to follow this bloke uh, quite a few miles and I could see a queue building up behind for quite a few miles <laughs> and um, as I say we went through some it's a really lovely bit of road it's between Hawkehurst and Cranbrook and it's got some lovely twisties and I thought oh well, you're all off here you know, he didn't. But we're stuck behind him, I say. He, he was riding right where I'm riding now, middle of his lane, you know. But 
road presence and all that. But it was only doing 40 on a 60 road. So all this traffic's building up behind us. And, um, it was quite annoying, but I thought, ah, that's alright, you know. It's only a Sunday, got no nothing to rush home for. sat behind him. Well, couldn't be much else really. I've not got a Lamborghini or anything. I've only got a little Nissan. Um, so we sat behind him. The 40s and 50s that he's doing. As I say, his, his bike did sound a little bit sick. Didn't sound brilliant. So whether he did have an engine problem or not, I don't know. He's just sort of nurse at home. Um, but uh, he poodled along and we got to, where did we get to? We got to Cranbrook. to turn right into there and he's thought about overtaking me there and then he's seen it so he's pulled back and as the car's gone into the garage he's gone for it there he is whizzed by me you know at 60 odd mile an hour in a 40 limit bit fair enough your fucking license and uh, he's sort of tried to whiz off but All it's done is caught out the traffic in front, which 30 seconds later, I've caught out of them as well. So, um, you know, there's only one car in front still. And in fact, me, we come up to some nice twisty bits again, and it decides to overtake the car in front of me on a fucking blind bend. What the fuck are you doing? He's just getting past the car. And what's coming at him? Fucking great man. I mean, you know, he just cuts straight in front of this poor little car. But yeah. Complacency does cause accidents. So don't be complacent if you drive a road regularly. It ain't just your life you put at risk, you put other people's lives at risk. So don't be an arsehole, in other words. You know, maybe he was trying to get home in an emergency, but... <laughs> How much fucking point in doing that if you're going to kill yourself and ten other people around you? But then you've caused a fucking emergency. You know, you're trying to get home to one, and then you've caused one elsewhere. So there we are, tubers. If you like my little gripe on complacency and stupid driving, give it a like. If you didn't like it, I'm not going to say dislike. 
like it because if you didn't like it, fucking hard luck. You should be driving like an idiot. Uh, leave a comment, share it with your friends. Tell them to share it with their friends. Watch tubes.